and welcome. Today I'm sharing my ultimate top picks for lip colors for the holiday season. I've got shades ranging from more wearable, muted, nude type colors, all the way to your bright reds and pinks and berries. And I've got textures from glosses to more sheer textures to satins to full on mattes. So if you'd like to see all my picks for the best holiday lips, just keep on watching. Starting off just showing you the lip that I have on already. I did this whole look in another video. It may or may not be up by now. If it is up, I'll link it below. If it's not, just stay tuned. It'll be up very soon. So this is the Posh lipstick in the shade Spice. Kind of an unusual color, a kind of light nude, warm orangey brownish color. A little bit unusual, but still I think in that kind of warm holiday spirit and really nice if you wanted to go for a bit of a more kind of subtle but still festive look. So this is Spice from Victoria Beckham and it's paired with a little bit of her lip definer in the shade O2 just to kind of define and round out the lips. Continuing on with the more subtle colors, more kind of everyday colors that you can feel comfortable in really any time of the year, but that I think will be a nice compliment in the holiday season as well. Moving from Spice into Girl, this is also Victoria Beckham and this is uh, kind of a light nude pink shade. So here's the shade Girl, very light nude, very kind of neutral color, almost pulls a little bit cool toned on me, but that's because even warm colors can look cool on me. Um, but that's what that looks like and just nice complement to something like this, like a really nice smoky eye, or it can go with an everyday type of look too and a beautiful satin creamy finish. This is Girl from Victoria Beckham. Another lightish kind of nude, neutrally type color. I'm going in with Lisa Eldridge's Velvet Fawn. So this is gonna have a bit more of an impact because it's a very saturated velvet matte formula, but still a nice color that can kind of go with a lot of different looks. So here's Velvet Fawn. It actually has quite a similar effect to Girl. I'm just gonna swatch them together. I'm sorry if you can hear that scratching in the in the background. It's just my cat, Eva. Um, I just wanted to see these next to each other. Girl might look a little bit lighter on the lips because it has that shine, so it's gonna reflect light. But yeah, actually they are not that different in tone. I'd say Girl looks a little bit warmer as well, but that one's Girl and that one's Velvet Fawn but a similar kind of feel to what they what they bring to the look. One reason that Velvet Fawn is a good option is because it's very long wearing. So I don't find the Victoria Beckham lipsticks very long wearing, especially those lighter colors. They are just a really nice creamy satin formula, but the Lisa Eldridge Velvets really last well and kind of stain the lips a little bit. So they wear down really nicely, even if you're eating a meal and so on, you'll still see a little bit of the color, um, even with these light tones left on your lips at the end of the meal. This is Velvet Fawn from Lisa Eldridge. Next up, we're kind of moving more into the territory of those bright colors and the deep uh, berry tones and bright reds, um, but this is kind of a soft version of that. So this is Spirited Away from Lisa Eldridge. This is a beautiful everyday type of shade. It's kind of a browny red tone, but I'd say leaning more into the red category, but not like a really bright red, although it has enough vibrancy that as the name suggests, um, it adds some life and spirit into the face. It's really beautiful, I think, for any time of year, any day, but also really nice around the holidays. If you want a little bit of the feel of a red lip without really having to go there, the formula is super easy to apply. It's sheer, but still quite saturated, so you can apply it very lightly for just kind of a stain effect, or you can apply it full on like I've done here. And this is another one that actually wears pretty well, although it's a more satiny type formula. Um, I find that it can kind of just stain the lips, kind of grabs onto the lips a little bit and will wear nicely and leave still a little bit of color even after eating and drinking. And I think just a nice option for a more kind of subtle yet still festive lip look. So this is Spirited Away from Lisa Eldridge. Okay, another option that's kind of like Spirited Away in a sense that gives you a little bit of the feel of a red lip, but it's not really going all out with it. This is Makeup by Mario's Annie. 
So here's Annie on the lips. Similar to Spirited Away, it's kind of like a mid-tone brownie red, although this one is brighter and more kind of vibrant and less brown than Spirited Away, but in a similar range in terms of the depth and similar in terms of the feel of having a nice kind of wearable reddish shade. So this is Annie from Makeup by Mario. So before I get into the really opaque and bright reds, pinks, and berries, I just wanted to show Lisa Eldridge's Ribbon Gloss. So here's the Ribbon Gloss on the lips. I will show you Velvet Ribbon in a moment as well, but I just wanted to present this as an option. Um, glosses are obviously a lot kind of more casual feeling, so you can still get the impact of that really bright, beautiful, true red um, and the nice glossy finish that I know a lot of people prefer and the comfortable gloss feeling as well uh, without having to go for that full on velvet matte. Ribbon gloss is a great option for a holiday lip. Should have mentioned too that something like this, like a really nice uh, gloss that still has a lot of punch to it can be nice for the end of an evening if you've been wearing a matte lip the whole evening and it's kind of worn down and you want still something fun and colorful on the lips but something that's going to start nourishing them um, a gloss like that would be a really great option as well so now moving into some more full-on matte lipsticks this is from bite beauty and it's called cayenne it's a beautiful bright fiery red so let's see how this looks Here's Cayenne from Bite Beauty. This is a great option if you want that kind of traditional red lip for the holidays, but you prefer a slightly warmer version of it. You're not as much into wanting a kind of blue-based red like Velvet Ribbon is. Um, this is a slightly more kind of warm, orangey-based red, but still looks like a true red. So this is Cayenne from Bite. All right, now I've been talking about this and now it's time to put this on my lips. This is Velvet Ribbon from Lisa Eldridge. And Velvet Ribbon is your ultimate choice for a true classic bright holiday matte red lip. Next, I wanted to go for almost a blood red type lip. So something a little bit deeper, little bit more kind of sultry than um, Velvet Ribbon. This is Blood Rush from Pat McGrath. It's in the Blitz Trance formula and I will say it's not my favorite formula. Um, it does have little glitter particles so I don't love the way they feel. For this type of a formula it's actually very comfortable but it's just not my, my favorite. But I do love this color so much and I love the effect of a kind of metallic glittery red lip. I think it's really powerful and really great for the holidays. So let's put Blood Rush on the lips. So here's Blood Rush on the lips. All right, we're getting down to the final three. The next one I want to show you, still staying in the red category, is Velvet Cinnabar from Lisa Eldridge. So here's Velvet Cinnabar. I don't think much needs to be said about this color. It is so powerful. It's a beautiful vermilion. And I know Lisa said in her reveal video of her lipsticks this year that this is the shade that she'll be wearing to any holiday parties. And I can see why it's such a strong, beautiful color, really nuanced. And you've got that kind of classic red feel, but it's also definitely different from what you normally see from a red lip and just a stunning option. So here's Velvet Cinnabar from Lisa Eldridge. Okay, next I wanna show you a pink option. This is Rose Magenta from Hermes. And I think if you're not as much into the reds, but you still want a really bright and festive color, a magenta like this is a great option. So here's Rose Magenta from Hermes. It's such a beautiful, rich color. And I think even though it's not a red, it is still really holiday appropriate. All right, and last but not least, I have Moody from Victoria Beckham. This is a beautiful, deep, deep berry shade. And here's what Moody looks like. 
Other options, if you don't have this color that will give a very similar effect, would be Velvet Midnight from Lisa Eldridge, as well as the Aubergine shade in the Westman Atelier Bordeaux Lip Suede. I went ahead and reapplied Velvet Ribbon, I just had to, but that's it for all my picks for great lips for the holiday season. I hope you enjoyed, I hope it was helpful for you. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below, and if you'd like to see more from me and you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I'd really love for you to do so. Thanks again so much, take care, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!